All right guys, so let's start off taking a look at the box. We'll get into its contents here before we get into the review. And as always, the box art for this one looks beautiful. You have that great traditional Megami device, Alice Gear Aegis style box art where you have the matte white finish for the background and then the illustration and text and everything has this nice glossy finish. So you get that two-tone finish to the box, giving it this very nice premium looking feel. The character illustration itself looking great as always, and all the little details and everything around on that. The weapon here also looking very cool. For our short little character bio here on the front, it says Mutsumi is an actress who is so good at fighting games that she even competes in tournaments. She faces vices with the reflexes and observation skills obtained from playing games. She is a stoic and earnest hard worker. Okay. On the side of the box here, we got the big A6 and the same artwork from the front, but you can see how thick this box is, quite a big one. And on the bottom of the box, the images of the kit and its features and a couple of different action poses to there, front and back, showing the painted version of the kit, the unarmored state of the kit there, and then some other different gimmicks features of it, some of the different weaponry and everything that you can do with that. Some really cool stuff with this kit. Then over here, a picture of how the kit is going to look just completely unpainted, built up straight out of the box, looking very nice. On the other side, there is a look at our face option parts we have with this one. I guess the stoic wording that we saw on the front makes sense with just kind of how these faces are. Not necessarily the most uh, interesting expressions on her face, but that's fine. We got some decals here, which is more than just the eye decals, which is nice. We actually have some more kind of marking decals and stuff. So we'll check those out in a moment. And the list price over here of 7,400 yen. Let's go ahead and get this box opened up. We'll see everything in here. Lots of runners and we'll quickly go through those in just a moment. But let's first take a look at the instruction manual here. We got the same artwork on the front, but a fuller version so you can see all the way down to the legs here. Some pretty cool feet on this design too, I must say. Just the logos here around on the back. On the inside here, we've got the code card. Again, I don't play the game or use that, so here you go. If any of you guys do, you can use that. But here we've got some information about the character, another illustration right there, and then just some sample images. Again, just showing off some different poses and things that you can do with the kit on the next page here. We do have our parts list. Looks like there's gonna be a couple of leftover parts, but not too many. After that, it's just on into the construction. So you'll build up the main character first and then all of the equipment and weapons and everything. And then the last part of the instruction manual will just show you how to use everything with the kit. At the very end here, we have the color and the decal guide. So there's your colors. If you wanna go by the official colors for this, and then there's the decals. Again, mostly decals for the eyes, but we do have some that are gonna be going around on the equipment there as well. So that's all laid out for you here on the next page. And that's it for the manual. So here's a quick look at those water slide decals. The eyes look really nice and give you some good options there. And then all of the markings are gonna be mostly in blue, it looks like. You got a couple there in white and then also some decals here for like blushing cheeks if you want to use those. Those look like to be maybe mouth decals. They're very, very small though. For our pre-printed face options, as always, these look fantastic just in terms of the color and quality of them. Some other pre-printed parts here for the body. It looks like some dark blue pre-printed on and then some white pre-printed on some of the blue parts there. A couple of other bits bagged up here. Looks like a very small G runner for a couple of parts here that go with runner X. These are going to be like uh, hand option parts that have a stronger connection for the wrist for holding up heavier weapons. A couple more pre-printed parts there and then a spring here which I guess is maybe for the weapon. I'm not sure. We'll find out. For our other hand option parts on the hand tree here, we've got one set in black, one set in white. So you've got your standard holding hands, open expressive hands, open resting hands, closed fist, trigger finger hands, all that good stuff. Runner A is gonna be all of our hair parts in dark blue. Runners B and C are gonna be all of our skin tone parts for the kit, of which there's really not all that many. Runner D is gonna be the main blue color for the body. It looks quite nice. Runner E, we have a couple of this one here in this very dark gray, almost black, essentially. Here is just a few connection parts, a couple of hand parts. Then we also have this E runner, which is just wrist joint parts, and these you have in white or in black to go with your white or black hands. Runner F here in clear blue is gonna be our standard Megami device base. Looks very nice. Runner G is some more parts for the body. These are gonna be all of our white pieces here. And then runners H and I are gonna be some more parts here in blue. Runner J is some armor equipment type pieces here in this very dark gray. And runner K, a few more pieces here in white. This one's slightly off-white. It seems different from the other white. This one is just a little bit darker. Runner M, getting into some larger armor pieces here. We've got two of the M runner. 
Burner L is some more weapons parts here in blue. Burner N is some connection pieces and also sword blade, which I believe is probably not going to be used by this kit, but this is in clear blue as well. Burners O and P are in a medium gray for a bunch of connection type pieces, mechanical parts, weapons parts and stuff. Runner P we have two of here for a bunch of those parts. Runner Q is a few parts here in black. Runner R is a few pieces in a nice orange yellow color. Runner S is some more connection pieces here in clear blue. Runner V we have two of. This is some effect parts also in clear blue. And lastly Runner Z is our standard runner of connection parts here. This is in white and in black as well. All right guys, so here is Mutsumi all built up. Very cool looking. I love just the size and just the general shape and everything about this kit. We'll focus of course first here on just the unarmored form and just taking a look at her in just her like kind of bodysuit there. Very cool character design. And once we get into all the weapons and equipment and everything, you guys will see that uh, I just really love the design of all the equipment and everything for this. It's got some very unique weapons. The rifle, you know, is kind of just your standard rifle and we'll get to that here in just a second. But she She's got her hammer, which is a certainly very cool, very unique weapon. But of course, it wouldn't be a Megami device kit without having plenty of accessories to go around. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Starting off with different neck pieces here that you can see we've got in skin tone and in that dark gray for attaching different heads onto this if you wanted to from them being like Figma or Frame Arms Girl type heads. And then we have an absolute mountain of hand option parts because you have the full set in both white and black here for whether you want to have her in her unarmored form here like this is supposed to have white hands and then the armored form she's supposed to use the black hands so we have lots and lots of hand option parts. For the armored version of the arms these are really nice I like this uh, part here that's like the protector on the back side of the hand and up on the shoulders so those have a really cool look to them and the same thing here obviously for the legs quite the unique style just the overall size and shape of these so you can see how these are just gonna basically be just plugged straight onto there like that. So it's gonna add quite a bit of height onto there, kind of depending on how you have that posed, but it's a really cool design here with these parts. Really reminds me of, especially these parts up here, remind me of like the enemy mobile suits from Gundam Age, for example, have very similar kind of style looking armor pieces on there. Gonna be kind of hard to see, but up underneath there is a little thruster and you can actually plug your connection piece into that for the effect part if you wanted to have this effect part coming out the back we have two of these effect parts that actually has a little bit of a moving gimmick that this kind of slides back it's going to be slight but there's a little bit of a sliding armor gimmick there this amp armor panel here on the side also kind of pops out slides out to the side and then you can move that out to the side there like that as well then we have the armored version of the head of course which features those big ears on the top and this kind of headgear like that which does look quite cool now, unfortunately you only have one of this part for the long hair out the back so you will have to swap that whether you have the armored or unarmored head whichever head you're using you need to take this off and put that onto there other than that the equipment design and just the color separation everything on here the details looks fantastic on this head as well her backpack equipment is also quite cool just in the design of this and here again is an area where you could plug these effect parts into there if you want out of these parts but that just plugs into her back and then these parts are just kind of floating off to the side separately and then we've got her weaponry which again just has such really great designs here for the rifle it's a really cool rifle design i love the mix of the accent colors and just kind of the overall design of this is just really really cool at the end you have an option piece here for the barrel very similar to the shitara kanashia it's actually the exact same piece i believe just swap out that barrel piece and then if you have that part in there you can attach one of your effect parts to be looking like that and while these effect parts are great that is kind of one slight uh, disappointment that i have with this kit is that we don't have more of these effect parts uh, that you only really have the two and it would be nice if we would have had these two and then also maybe an orange one for this effect for out the rifle i believe previous kits had uh, something like that i can't remember which one's offhand at the moment but ones that would give you like these blue versions for like the thrusters at the back and then like an orangish yellowish version for one for your rifle effect part something like that and then finally we've got her other signature weapon which is going to be this massive hammer so you have this really really long handle you're not going to have any problems getting a two-handed grip on that and for swinging this around and this is where your spring is so the end of this is spring loaded again it's a very slight not really all that noticeable detail and like articulation point there but that's pretty cool that the end of that is 
spring loaded like that. And again, you can plug your effect part into the back of here. If you wanted, you can take out some of those extension pieces so it's not sticking out quite as far, but you guys get the idea. I'm just thinking it would have been nice to have a couple more of these effect parts in there, one or two more of those to be able to use with the weapons. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but you do have some clear blue parts inside there as well, which also gives a nice kind of effect, but kind of hard to see. I would recommend painting some silver up underneath those parts maybe just to help uh, make that uh, those parts a little bit more visible in there. But other than that guys, not really too much else to go over with this kit. I really, really love the design of this one. Such a cool design, the, the armor parts of it, and even the unarmored version as well, is it's a cool design. I didn't really talk too much about that, but uh, just because I like the design of the armor for this one so much, but the un unarmored design also is quite cool, just her bodysuit. And just aside from the, in my opinion, maybe lack of effect parts for this, the only other criticism that I might have for it is just that it is going to be missing some color apps, but I mean, that's pretty normal. It's not really necessarily even that much of a criticism. It's just kind of a standard thing. But if you just look at like the character illustration design, there's some cool striping around on like the arms and legs and a, more little yellow details added around here and there as well. It just make for some nice little points of color around on some of the armor sections that are nice that are going to be missing from the kit just straight out of the box. But you know, you can paint those in or, you know, do whatever you might want to do to fill in those colors. And again, it's a pretty minor criticism. Overall, it's a fantastic kit. I really like this kit quite a lot. It's such a cool design. And in my opinion, just another reason why I believe that Kotobuki is still the best at what they do here with these kits. They're really awesome. Can't wait to build uh, the next one, honestly. And if you guys want to check out any of these kits for yourselves, of course you can do so at USA Gundam Store. The link will be down in the video description there below. We've got all these different awesome kits from Kotobuki and other companies as well. If you guys are into Mecha Musume kits, there's certainly plenty of options available for you guys. I still think that my personal favorite among the Megami device kits is still probably got to be the Shitara Kanashia. Uh, but I don't know, this one is really, really nice. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Which one is your favorite of the Megami device designs? Yeah, it's a tough call. This one's really great. But as always, guys, I thank you so much for just checking out the video here today. If you'd also like to like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, hope you guys are all having a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.